Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. It is winter. It is. We've hit the blue over here. Snow has started falling. I was going to run it through the night until it got to dawn and, you know, start off with some nice orangey colors and realize that it's already five in the morning and that sun is not even thinking about coming up. So it is winter time. Long nights, short days, and cold. Snow is already starting to collect on the ground. And Rita is starting off with pneumonia. Paulette is giving her some antibiotics right now. Um, Paulette just reached healing four as a result. Nice. Kana's up and working on something. I had them all go and get hats. So it's it's time to put our, our, our beanies on or our, our toques on. Though Edmund got the fur hat. Because he was the coldest. His cold tolerance is only 26 degrees. Where is Edmund? Is he still sleeping? Double click. You are just getting your hats. We're going to go from 26 with a fur hat down to 12. Good. Otherwise, Carter is out on an expedition. <clears throat> Rita is recovering. Umar is... He slept through the whole thing. <laughs> Kana is grabbing something to eat. Edmund is... I think I had him fill up all of the fuel barrels. I asked Simon to fill up all of the concrete furnaces. Paulette is going to start making some foods. And we're ready to continue on. I've got Rita scheduled, though. Does that cancel everything? It does. She's recovering. Hmm. I had her set to grab a meal and go off and chop a whole bunch of trees down. And yeah, she's got pneumonia, so it would give her an hour off. Now, let's see here. She's pneumonia immunity, so she's officially done with pneumonia and has 110%, I guess, as a result. And she's inspired. Oh, that's the 10%. Okay. So, Rita is out and about and eating. Great. When you're done, uh, get your cap on. Right there. <clears throat> And then come on out and do these trees, these ones, those, those. Uh, I think there's one more over here. And this guy. Actually, no. Before you do that, come down and get this one. It's been sitting here for a long time. It'd be nice to make him go away. Okay, so she gets to build up a little bit more of her physical strength and these guys right here <clears throat> we haven't had an attack with them involved yet we're coming up on you know near the end of year two year three so one of these days these attacks have got to get a little more significant and i have a feeling we're getting close to that rita's cutting trees oh that's right we are officially at full release for this game happened oh, a day or two ago and We've got <clears throat> three full scenarios with the game now. Survival, trading, and military. And I was glancing through here to see if any changes had happened. I don't know when this change happened, if it was just now or or with the, uh, the trading scenario. But we now have wood plank floors. Originally, we went from wood, which is a big solid mass... To stone under the big solid mass but now we've got this guy and I'm guessing they're still trying to make this thing work or something because I gave it a try and and you know let's go from here to there there's no cost you know this one costs nine wood this one nothing you just need to go build it it's already purple I don't get that I think there's uh, an error there or I don't know there's no point in giving us a freebie like that so can I interact with them with these um, flooring can I make a pathway in a sense not really but it does seem to go down a lot lower hmm not sure over to this end. Is there anywhere that just dies at the end? Not really. No, I kind of I smoothed those out pretty good. Okay. 
Anyway, there's one more flooring then, and, and that I think transfers to the walls, and so you don't have to have log walls now. Get in there a little closer. There we go. So that's their version of log walls, like more like a manufactured log wall. Um, housing walls, planks. So it will look now more like, yeah, a bunch of two by sixes onto two by fours. Interesting. So a little more closer to normal, typical construction. Okay. Anyway, let that go. Connor's got a cold now. I think Edmund's got a cold. Most of us have got a cold. Uh, a cold represents what? Like 5%? Yeah, minus 5 on consciousness, movement, and manipulation. So it slows them down a bit, but doesn't harm them too much. Not like the pneumonia. Which, I would imagine if you didn't have the antibiotics, it would eventually... It might even go fatal, I don't know. Or maybe... Well, RimWorld would have a rating of of immunity countdown versus how bad the the uh, um, pneumonia is getting, and if you you know it was it was a numbers race, which everyone got to a hundred first was the winner <laughs> or the loser. But I'm not sure exactly how it works here because we've always had antibiotics. Carter is constructing a fence. I went ahead and threw a fence around our power poles here. Carbon boots. So Kana is is busy over there. Just in case they, they want to go munching down on this. Ooh, it got dark. So storm clouds or something rolling through. Anyway, um We need to get this system up and going. Though we're not gonna use it just yet. I'm not gonna assemble these guys yet. I'm gonna wait. We've got another round of attacks coming. It's probably this episode. It's been a little while. So, one more round out of this guy. By then, maybe this will be functional enough to give it a test. We are... Something finished. We are sealed. Let's run the fence line here. Yep, we're contiguous. Good. Alright, except for that guy right there. And this guy. Who's out here? Nobody. Carter is constructing a stockpile. After all this time, you chose to make the walk to get that last stockpile in? Really? Now we're going to go back. <laughs> Carter. <laughs> Edmund, what you doing? Uh, eating. Okay. So, Edmund, when you are done... Yeah, when you're done, come on in here. And let's get the last of these finished. Alright, so that group is done. We're done here, and then maybe come on out here and haul wood. We'll see where you dump all of that. Rita's out here somewhere, right? There, she's over in this area. Okay, so that should be more than enough wood to get all of our initial fencing in. After which, I think we're going to take a section maybe right through here somewhere and make it brick where they're going to most likely want to bust through to get to us. If not brick, well, concrete, of course, would be better, but I don't really want to sacrifice the concrete we need to finish these off to get our initial builds going. Eventually, I mean, they are going to make their way through and into here and try to attack us. So this is their way in, and that's what's going to tempt them to make the run to get in when they can't you know, the path of least resistance isn't through a wall. It's it's through an open gateway. That's that's the idea. Um, but eventually there's going to be enough monsters to, well, bugs to overwhelm this guy and make it in. So this might be a great place to put a flamethrower right in this area or some other type of, of uh, automated turret or something to try to dissuade them from doing that okay enough talking Carter you know what Carter came back <laughs> I remember seeing him do a solar eclipse for disabled devices these guys have CPU no yeah, it was CPUs CPUs okay 
So when solar eclipses happen, all of our automated systems will die. This guy does not have a CPU. So flames will continue, but all of these CPU core, CPU core, CPU core. Okay. You do not have one, and that is it on automated defenses. Okay. Motion sensor, CPU core. Okay. So, solar flares, solar eclipse. Oh, solar eclipse. Here's our four devices that are that are uh, a problem here. Solar flares take out the CPU cores. Solar eclipse takes out the sun. So these four right here are not going to work anymore. But we do have backup. We have a generator. At some point, we're probably going to need to put in more than one generator. We're growing up. We're going to start getting a lot more use, a lot more power. And batteries right now, we're always holding right around that, that halfway point. So we're kind of maintaining. We're going to drop below that once this dies off. As it is officially died off. <laughs> Boom, flip the switch. The sun hasn't even gone out yet, but it's, it's off. Um, so this guy, did he fire up? He'll fire up when, in general, we're at fi less than 50%. We are 64% right now. Okay. So we don't need the backup power yet. Unless we intentionally say, I want more than one half power. Ooh, we're done with the boots and we're into helmets. Let's do that. I kind of feel better with that keeping us like in the from 70 and above let's do that that way we have got a much bigger cushion should we you know have a solar eclipse so you're gonna fire up here oh they have to go flip the switch um Kana I get you to come on over here and and handle a little battery sensor for me. Thank you. Watch her flip that up to 70% and this guy turn on and that way we'll just, we'll know it's working. We're running? Yeah. Well, she's gonna get there eventually. Boy, we have a lot of grain. We do. Flip the switch, this guy came on and these are gonna start charging. 62%, should be 63 before long. And I think it's this guy. Simon must be out here working. Oh, Rita is. There he is, right there. So he's working on concrete, transporting... Oh, he's transporting what was on the ground over here. And... What are you up to right now? Transporting concrete. Let's make sure that these get baked concrete. Get into the list. Right there. Okay, so you do those. I want to get lots of concrete going. Um... I don't think I dare send anybody else on another expedition. In fact, it's probably time to start getting some carbon armor onto folks, but she's on the helmets. That's the last one. So let's get two helmets made. Uh, she's working on one right now, bringing the supplies. And then I can have her start over again because I've given all those away, and the instructions are do it until we have two. So once I hand them out, she has to start from scratch so we'll wait just a little bit longer but before the next bug attack we should do that I was questioning whether or not to send anybody else out right now um, <clears throat> did we have anything that was a very quick thing that last shooting star was only three hours away what I'm playing with so I don't think there's anything left there's 10 hours 11 hours you're only three hours you're seven hours now. That's 14 hours round trip. Six hours for military ship debris. 12 hours. Do I want to lose anybody? I think I'll wait. As soon as the next attack is done, we'll send off two balloons. One to the military and one to explore. Since we don't need any more supercomputer or CPU cores at the moment. Seven is... I think plenty of a of a cushion. Okay. And 
do that again. We still can't make power cells, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to get some more electronics in, into play. So maybe when Khan is finished with this round, get her back into the uh, uh, creating electronics instead. What is What are we calling for for electronics? Electronics, we're asking for five. Okay. So she would drop into that one probably automatically. Thump. Okay, so carbon helm, high-end helm made of... Thank you, game. <laughs> <clears throat> so if I were to click that... I mean, I can't get back to that description, can I? Um... No, I can't get back in. Um, here. Click on this. No. Wow, there's no way to go back and read that. Or if there is, I just don't see it. Anyway, cool helmet. Advanced settings. Okay, I see. Okay, well... You, you guys can go back and rewind and pause it and read that. I can't. <laughs> Carter constructing a power pole. Okay, so we're getting these up and running, which means we'll have sensors here in a moment. So what do we do with this circuit? How do the... Yeah, how do the power switches work? <clears throat> the sensor is the switch. Getting that one right. So you are... Okay, active circuit is one. So that means these guys all need to be on one, or we set a different active circuit. And we set our active circuit for three if we want. And then when this guy notices something coming into range, then he will fire off circuit number three as soon as somebody flips the switch which Carter is going to do, Edmund is going to do next. But we could also turn something else off. So we could turn off some serious power hogs, say if we were running electric furnaces or smelters. Then we could put them on circuit number two and active circuit none. So that means it's going to turn everything else off. Be curious to see how, what, what happens there. Let's wait a minute. It says none and these guys are running on none. Does that mean none as it, it won't affect any? Or it will take out the circuit called none? I don't know. <laughs> but that sounds like a fun experiment. If so, then we will be, you know, eventually start switching things onto different circuits. But up till now, we haven't had to worry about it. It's just, just leave it all alone and it works. But now we're finally going to be getting into a little more of a differentiation into our power circuits. But anyway, we are at 1900 hours. What is that? 7 p.m.? Yeah. Carter's about to melt down, but he's going to go construct some carpet. Carpet? After all this time, we still have carpet undone? What have you guys been doing? Or have I just been really micromanaging you to death? Carter, why don't you... You know, don't do that. Let me micromanage you some more and go play some music. And then get yourself some, some bread. And then go sit down for a while. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's, that's what you do when you're about to break down on me. Edmund is constructing the carpets. Okay. That's... That is strange. I had thought the carpets were all done. You'd think by now they would have gotten an order to do that I mean, long before now. Huh. Kind of blank those out. Anyway. Don't see much in the way of any other risk of meltdown is now Umiar uh, of harvesting to do for Rita. Common cold. So, Umiar, let's start with you. What is going on? Crushingly unhappy. Why is that? Why are they not just going and grabbing something to eat when they need it? 
you're playing darts, then you are going to also get yourself some bread. Because that makes you happy. And colds, we've got Carter and Paulette. So that's new, and Paulette's just going to sleep. And Carter will be soon, too. It's pretty much the end of the day. They're, they're going to be calling it quits. So we got fuel and everything. We got fuel. Okay. We are reloaded on our fuel production barrels. We could use another round of concrete here. That's probably an Edmund, in the sense that he sleeps so much faster. Simon is doing some. Let's have him do a third one. What's he lighting right now? Handling furnace. Um, no, let's, let's bake concrete. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Okay, he brought a bunch of concrete over. So we need to capitalize on that. So yeah, you haul all those away. And go put them away. Edmund, you can come out here and bake concrete. You're drinking, so right afterward. Bake. We'll just have you do all of these, then you can go to bed. Hopefully you will... That was Edmund. Simon, why didn't you continue? Okay, let's go back to hauling cement. Leave the bricks, or the, the stone, so that hopefully Edmund can draw from them. Though it worries me he's going to grab all of it, put one away, go put them all away, bring ten back. <laughs> let's see how smart he is. Alright, now you're going to get the last of that out. Really. No, oh, I see you grab from the pile. Oh, good. We've got to plan that little bit of a mistake every time, then. That makes things so much easier. Hopefully someday they'll be smart enough just if they can haul 120 stone, you think they could haul it, you know, 70 and just drop 10 in each one and walk, walk down the line. But that's what I needed to see. So those are cooking. They'll be good by morning or so, and you're going to grab something to eat. Good job. Okay, so Simon is still transporting. You need to get the order to go to sleep soon. Actually, you're in pretty good shape. Well, you're starting to run out. But yeah, grab the rest of that. And what's left? Woodwise. Hmm, I don't know. There's not much. There's wood here. There's wood there. There's wood in the fencing. So you're just hauling it, aren't you? I think you are. I think we have all the materials, tachyon source, that are available already distributed okay good so tachyon source what are you our sensors are reacting to a repeated bursts of tachyon radiation through this sounds like star trek through some effort and pinpointing we were able to locate the source nearby okay so what does that mean military no Okay, which one's new? Tachyon source. Emitting from this location eight hours away. Sensor fluctuations. Select a survivor to send to the expedition. Okay, so keep that one in mind right after our next attack. Was there a time limit on that? Ah, uh, this direction. You are... It just says it's an eight-hour trip. No sense of a time limit. So it's going to continue no matter what. Okay. Hmm. Simon's eating. Simon, did you go to bed? You haven't been to bed yet. Oh. From where I was looking right here, that looked like sunrise was starting to starting up. But no, it's only one in the morning. Okay. You're just uh, you're just a night owl right now. So you grab some food and then grab some sleep. Everybody else sleeping? Yep. Got these guys going. Those guys going. Uh, finally starting to release some of these. How you doing? You are available as well. So, Edmund, you are actually in pretty good shape. When you're done, let's... We have enough pickled vegetables and... And... Yeah. What is enough pick pickled vegetables? I wonder. Go to this guy. Pickled vegetables is 400. So, when they go to cook, let's say, veggie stew, uh, that's this one, veggie stew, that could be any of the vegetables and pickled. 
Pickle's not going to rot. Should we lose power for a long time? As long as we are not pickling glow shrooms or whatever they're called. Pickled vegetables. Um, I want this one. There we go. Yeah, glitter caps. Then there should be no reason why we can't do this almost indefinitely. Let's take this up to a thousand. Okay, so in that case, Edmund, when you're done, when you wake up, ferment those and let's get some more moonshine going. Alright, so folks are starting to wake up again. Five in the morning. Winter. Cold. Dark. Yeah. Let's uh, pop into here. Closed windows, so we can't really look out and you know see the view. So, yeah, I can see some cabin fever starting up soon. <laughs> oh, let's see. Edmund is out there with his uh, oh, what is that Russian hat called? That fur hat with the with the ears. I don't think this has got the ears, but. Uh, yeah, he's the only one's got one of those. Can we make that? Curious. I mean, we have leather. If we don't have fur, so how would we make that? I don't know. Hats. Fur hat needs. Hmm. Leathers and fabrics. So I guess we can make some furry fabric. Yeah, some synthetic fur. That's what it is. Um. You know, I kind of like that. Let's uh, let's pop in and until two on that one, just for fun. Okay, pull that pull away somehow. We've got to find something that isn't something, and to click to get that box to go away. Edmund is writing. That's nice. Yeah, let's refill our our story bank there. Kana does that too. But I haven't seen her do that for quite a while. But she did drop right back into assembling, and she's crafting ten now. Wow. Uh, sunrise. That <laughs> just happened like that. Um, Edmund's turn to have pneumonia. Okay. So, Paulette, as soon as you're done, you are going to treat Edmund. So, as soon as he lays down, can I do that now? I can't. Now I can. Now I can. There we go. Reserved by Carter. You are right now picking up new things, I'm guessing. So let's just send you there directly rather than hit the shift. Okay, so grab some uh, antibiotics, which, how are we doing on that? We still have 50. Okay, so we're fine. Carter is constructing carpet. Do I send them out on an expedition anyway? This has to be the day of the next attack, or at least the day of the announcement of the next attack. I mean, it just it just feels like we're we're there. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's probably probably wise not to. Um, yeah, these are gonna pop off at the same order, same timing that Edmund filled them up. Hmm. So I could get somebody like oh, Edmund's already doing his things. He's constructing floors. Let's get Simon. When you're done, you're... Well, let's have you... Yeah, now let's just have you get to work. So you're going to come straight over here and bake concrete. And... There. Last one. Then you can go off and do something like play the didgeridoo. Okay. Eating, 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 baking, constructing, eating. So we're starting to put concrete together and wood together. Yeah, our wood floor, which is cheaper, and our concrete floor, which is stronger. Whether there's going to be turrets up on here as well, I don't know. Oh. By mixing the two floors, I lost the roof. I didn't think about that. Huh. Let's let's 
explore this a little bit. So if I wanted to put, oh, a concrete roof on here. What's going to happen to all that wood? Click. Ooh, it worked. <laughs> I thought for sure all of this is going to explode, demolish, and it was going to lay the blueprint of another concrete floor in there. So it put it back. I guess when I deleted this first row to replace it, it went away and I didn't notice it, that it happened. Hmm. Whoops. Boy, I touched the side of the screen. This goes crazy. I'm trying to decide if there's any reason to put a roof over these guys. I don't know. I think we'll wait on that. But, yep. Yeah, though I'm... I mentioned that already or not? I thought of it. I don't know if I mentioned it. That I have heard that the bug attacks still penetrate the roof. That is not a certain shelter from these guys spitting acid down at us. But I'm not sure. I want to see that for myself. So we'll, we'll see how that goes when the time comes. But now we're just going to continue building. So Simon's bringing out concrete. Oh, he's transporting what he's collected out of here. Okay. Simon, how you doing? You, you're decent enough. So, are. you were ready to fall apart yesterday. You look like you're in pretty good shape now. Because you're back to researching. And you are researching our little radio. You're getting kind of to the end of our research. You need to get out there and maybe this tachyon source or something's going to give us a new round of, of, uh, oh, we have some carbon fortifications. Carbon force field barrier. I'm thinking that's new. That's that's new to me. And carbon fortification. So this must have come with the uh, with the full release of the game. Anything else here is new. I'm hearing a lot of metal tapping. <laughs> that's kind of a metal sound. Not a not a concrete sound. <laughs> Oh, well. Anyway, um, force field. Let's give, let's take another peek at that. You are research. Right there. Okay. Let's imagine two metal pylons shooting directed energy waves several times per second at each other. Such an electromagnetic barrier will be practically impenetrable. The system will increase its power consumption according to the mass trying to penetrate it. Ooh. Of course, such a barrier will be an immense drain on the power grid and should be used carefully. Yeah, I'm thinking that uh, force field 1 power requires construction 5, gate 2 power, okay, construction level 5 in order to build it. 1 power and 2 power, I guess, per square. So you don't want to try to protect your perimeter with a force field. But you might protect the backside of your of your automated turrets with a force field. That's possible. Um, again, I'm going to wait till this attack is done to fire this guy up, so that they don't target it in case that is a thing. Right now, we're getting pretty close to having a uh, uh, a defensive structure in place. We are. I don't see it being used this time. We still have to build the rest of the defenses, but the structure itself is getting pretty close. Why are you white? Is that some form of a shadow? I don't know. Maybe when I restart the game. Oh, is part of it snow? Maybe? I don't know. Don't, uh. I mean, this is white, too. So I'm thinking, oh, it's snow. This was already built when it snowed, and this is new? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to pretend I didn't notice. I'm hearing a rumbling noise. But it's wintertime. It usually means... Well, has there ever been lightning and snowstorms in this game? I'm trying to remember if there has been. We certainly have enough lightning rods not only to protect ourselves, but to grab a lot of that electricity for our batteries. Um, you are not running, so we must collectively be 
72 and we are a plus 22 for the system because it's daytime so apparently somewhere in there our solar eclipse went away good so all this is powered it was plus 28 so this must be taking six ah uh, six there you are okay so i'm gonna let him run continually i could switch him off and do my best to remember to turn him back on again but i don't know if i want to min max that that's that sounds a little annoying here comes the snow and we're not getting a thunderstorm marking have you guys ever seen snow thunder or snow lightning i have it's it's pretty wild it could be snowing really hard kind of dark although snow clouds are very very white but still dark in, in the sense that you know, everything is cloudy and then all of a sudden boom i don't know if i've ever actually seen the the lightning but I have heard the thunder crashing through a snowstorm. So that's, it's, it's unexpected because you just, you think of it as a dark rainy thing where you see lightning and hear thunder, but yeah, it does, it does happen once in a while. Um, still no attack. Coming into, oh, it's only two in the after, no, that's temperature, 17. I must've been hovering over here. 14 in the freezer still. And 33 outside, it's 17 o'clock, so 5 in the evening, and getting dark again. We scavenged 50. Who? Carter? Carter! Cool! And Simon, what you up to? You're transporting 80-something. Sticks? Sticks. When you're done, you're in good shape. Transport this scrap metal as well. Where are you, Simon? You found them out there somewhere. Okay. And you're bringing them to our pile over here. Um, I did have somebody, they didn't do a great job, come and collect all these. So, who's available right now? Who's not? Umiar. Yeah, let's have you do it. Umiar, you are in decent shape. Your happiness is wonderful. So let's have you haul some hay. Have you do it twice. And we'll get somebody else to do one round as well. Edmund is cutting. Because we have nothing left to construct because we're cooking the last of the concrete. Interesting. We're actually as done with the construction as we can be. Wow. How many episodes since we've had that situation arise. So you're cutting. Uh, Carter is transporting that in. And he needs... Oh, he probably needs some relaxation. I probably should let him do that, just in case we get another midnight raid. I'm so tired of these midnight attacks. Uh, Paulette, you as well. Let's let's get ahead of the curve here. Do that, and then eat something. Something that gets your happiness up there. So, some fruits flambe. Rita, you are transporting... So I guess your handle or deliver is up there a bit. I would have thought your cooking would be next. Activities, Rita. Harvest, and then ranch, and plant, and then deliver, to help out with the deliveries. Okay. After that, your first two that you, well, you got handle in there too. You were interested in cooking. Right? Yeah. So you get a bonus from that. So do I make that your next one instead? I mean, you get us caught up on meals, and our freezer's safe now, so if we had 50, 60 meals in stock, that wouldn't be a bad thing. It's not going to rot. Hmm. I'll let... Well, though I can see the advantage right now of just getting everything brought in that has ever been waiting to be brought in and it's just been you know that thorn in, in in my side for episode after episode after episode yet we'll leave her on delivery i think that might actually be good for us get all the little scraps all the little last pieces of leather that might still be surviving out there somewhere from a a butcher job here and there that I'm not about to go and try and find it now. It's been too long. And do we still have a bunch of carbon nanotubes 
up. Where am I? Here. Yep, right there, just waiting. Uh huh. Okay. Well, it's time to get all of those little loose ends taken care of then. Good. Are we running? Now we're running. I automatically hit that space bar so easy, I don't even realize I do it. Though, we do have a little bit for Rita to do here. And. Is that a temperature thing? Apparently it's it's her plan already. So, yeah, she falls back into harvesting, so I'll leave her alone. Okay, Carter's still bringing that in. Paulette is cooking, then she's going to get some... That's what I was doing. Getting everybody ready for that. That, I knew it was coming. Let's get everybody, you know, fooded up and relaxed up and rested up and what have you. Let me just do this real quick. Umayar, you like bread. Your happiness is fine, though. So why don't you just grab some grain porridge when you're done transporting. Kana, you, same thing. You like veggie anything, so grab you a veggie stew. You're assembling, so you can do that right now. And then, I suppose, have you relax. Have you sit and relax. All right, you are already getting something to eat, then you can play some musical instruments. Simon has to do the transporting, which I need to go see where those bugs are, in case he's walking into a trap. Um, otherwise, really, it's just resting, so I'll need to get them all in bed here soon, because 2 a.m., they're going to attack another nighttime raid. Um... Simon, well, you've gone this far. I want you to, or Edmund, Edmund, you sleep easier, faster. Light the torches. Edmund, when you're done with all that, you are going to light these off. Okay, give us some light down there. We need to think about light over here. We do have, do we have lighting? Yeah, floodlights big stadium lights. We can light this area up. They do take some power though. So running these and running the lights plus running the freezer and running our you know electronics table and, and research table and all the you know everything else that kind of accumulates over time and suddenly we're not just a negative 58 we're a negative 200 and these guys are ticking down real quick. So yeah, we've got to be aware of our our watts, our amps. Um, bugs, where are you guys at? And I'm guessing that we have... Yep, it's not going up anymore, so we're there. So what's in here? We have got still a fairly easy attack. 35 Scarabai, 9 Explosives, and 2 Scissor Hands. That's just like the last attack. You guys are going off to go eat something? No, you're pretty much staying calm this time. Okay, get rid of that one. And... Yep, just let you guys sit. We'll take care of that next episode, but... What else is there to do to finish off this one? Umayar, let's call the researching done. Transport... You never did go to those. That's what's going on. All right, let's just grab the bread right now. The bread is gone. <laughs> okay. Um, grain porridge. Get that done. I'm on Umar. Yep. And after that, you're going to bed. All right. Paulette, you are cooking and transporting. Let's... All right. And then you're supposed to be eating... I wish I knew what the one more was. I think I had you eat. Then let's send you to bed, too. I'll let you over here. Rita, you are harvesting. I need some food in you, and I need you ready to go. So come on up and grab some fruits flambe. Ignore what's out in the fields. And play the hand pan, and you'll be ready to go. Actually, when you're done with that, just go right to bed. Rita, you're over here. So, Paulette, Simon, you're in pretty decent shape. You are transporting that in, and you need to get to bed. You are here. So, Edmund, fullness. Okay, you're going to fill up. 
then you're going to go do relax and you're going to go light everything down there and then you're heading to bed kana you oh that's that head scrolling you need something to eat you're doing it you could use some relaxation why don't you grab the other didgeridoo which is back over there and then you get to bed and oh my we got you taken care of carter you are the last one you're going to go relax then you are going to grab some meat pie and then you are off to bed and at 2 a.m everything gets exciting so attacks in the future just mean everybody piling out the back door and getting up onto this guy a lot easier than making their way down the hill not taking the stairs and getting through the gates and getting up on here before these guys make their way around to get up in there so next attack ought to be rather different than we're used to uh chef steak Ooh. not gonna tell me what a chef steak is are you okay down to the bottom of the list last one too uh prepare top quality red meat steaks with alcohol uh, okay that's the steak that cost you more than twenty dollars <laughs> in a real restaurant <laughs> All right, so going to sleep, playing, eating, yeah, doing the stuffs. So snow's coming in. It is 20, still only 29 degrees out. Not that cold yet. Colder in our freezer than outside, so it's not a blustery blizzard right now. It's just, now it's, it's the kind of winter that's fun. Kind of warm and enjoyable. Pretty soon they're going to be making snowmen. Probably next episode. Anyway, these guys are next. I'm going to lose them in this. Up here. Yeah. There we go. Where did these scissor hands go? I don't see them. They've headed off to go eat something, haven't they? There you are. Okay. You're just... I don't know, I think you're you're noticing this guy over here and you're wanting dinner. Yeah. Okay, so next episode, we start right there. And call this one done. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.